Hey YouTube. West Coast Prepper are in here. So, let me see if I can get back here so you can. Here's my carrot harvest. <laughs> Gallon buckets. I just picked these this morning and they're soaking. I'm getting all the dirt off of them. Then I'm going to go in and scrub them up and get ready to can I'll give you a perspective here. That's they're pretty good size, some of them. So, some of them aren't. Back up a little. I'd say the majority are about like this. But, oh, they smell delicious. And I got some little ones too. So, I'm going to start scrubbing and peeling, and we're going to get to canning some carrots today. <laughs> it's pretty late already. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just got a late start. It's my day off. And I just didn't really feel like doing much, so my husband's been bugging me to get these out of the ground, so here we go. Probably be up till 11 or 12 tonight, which is not a big deal for me, but anyway, I didn't can carrots last year, and I was kind of bummed that, that I didn't, because I, I ended up, um, my mom actually gave me some that she canned that were delicious, so hopefully these will look good when I get them peeled and cut, and uh, I'll take you along for the process, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. So I've got my carrots washed and uh, ready to peel. It's a couple hours later. Whoops. Um, some of them aren't very big, you know, but it'll be fine. These are going to be, I don't know, these are just too small to deal with. You know, I just pulled all of our carrots. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My husband didn't thin the carrots this year. Like he said he was going to, so... They, uh, you know, they didn't have a whole bunch of room to spread out and get big, but, you know, there's some pretty decent carrots in here, but, but they'll be good. They are very sweet, but, you know, every day, or every day, every day, <laughs> every year when I do carrots or whenever you go out to the garden to pull carrots, <laughs> at least this is a game I play. It's like, who can find the funkiest carrot? <laughs> so, um, here's my funky carrots. These are what I call love carrots. There were two has intertwined. I just think they're cute. Anyway, I call them love carrots. And because they look like a little heart. So every year I get a couple of, of love carrots. And we got two this year. Then the award for Franken carrot <laughs> goes to this one. This is one that actually did wind itself kind of like this one. I think it actually came off of one of these. Uh, it, it wound itself around. Isn't that the funkiest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> anyway, okay, so that's Franken carrot. And the tee hee ha ha carrot this year is this one. <laughs> I call it Fat Man. <laughs> uh, just some carrot humor. I don't know. It was funny. I laughed when I saw it. So these are my... These are... These are my my funky carrots this year. And then my two love carrots. So, anyway, uh, you know, garden humor, whatever. When you're standing here for an hour scrubbing carrots, <laughs> anything really, <clears throat> anything amuses you, I think. So, anyway, these are, you know, they're super good carrots as far as the taste. You know, they're not real big, but... A couple of them are pretty big. The, the bigger ones are down in the bottom here. But you know, there's some there's some pretty decent carrots in here. So now I get to sit and because uh, I'm tired of standing, my back hurts. <laughs> um, I am going to peel these. Thankfully, they don't take long to process. It takes longer to chop them up. So I haven't figured out how I'm going to chop them yet. I mean, it's just half the time it's just easier for me to just whip the knife out and just go to town on them. So. Anyway, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So, that's where I'm at. And you guys, I don't know if you know how big these bowls are. These are, uh, I can't put my arms around these bowls, if that tells you anything. They're big bowls. So, I can't, they're, you know, when I make a circle with my arms, I can't get my arms hardly around them. So, they're large. So, I have a lot of peeling to do. So, I better get to it, and I will talk to you later. Stay tuned. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. Um, so, okay, 
Here's all my cut up carrots. <laughs> There's a lot of carrots here. Uh, you can see how big this bowl is comparatively to how big my stove is. That's a, I don't know, 12 quart. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got a lot, <laughs> a lot of carrots going on here. So, um, I got my ring or my lids on. I got this water boiling. This is to, um, even though I'm raw packing, um, you don't put cold water in, you put hot water in. So, anyway, got the pressure canner going over there. It's not on because I am raw packing, so it's cool. So, I'm going to get these jarred up. And I'm using pint jars. I'm going to use wide mouth pint jars because uh, that's what I have. I'm, I'm running low on jars again. So, um, Basically, I'm going to pack these down in there as best I can and put some water over, leave an inch of headspace, get all the uh, bubbles and stuff out. I'm going to put, um, oh gosh, a uh, half a teaspoon of salt, canning salt, in each one, I think. i got to get my book out. i got to get my, my ball book out because it's been a long day. So, um, anyway, salt, water, wipe the rim. Get, you know, get the air bubbles out, wipe the rim, put a lid and a ring, stick it in the canner, and with my pints I can go double stack, so that's nice. So I can do, um, let's see, I think I can only get seven of the wide mouth, I can't remember, seven or maybe eight each stack, so either 14 or 16 uh, per, per go round, and uh, then you bring it up. Let it steam for 10 minutes, then put the weight on, let it come up to 10 pounds of pressure, and do it for the time that it says to, for your altitude. My altitude is less than 1,000 feet, and like I said, I'm going to have to go look at my book and refresh my memory before I get going on this, but I think it's, um, I think it was 35 minutes, but I'll have to look for pints, so. Stay tuned. I'll bring you back when I get some in jars and ready to go in the canner, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, if you're wondering, <laughs> I did cut these by hand. Yes, I know. Craziness. Um, I'm pretty wicked with a knife, so <laughs> it really didn't take that long. So, um, no cuts. Caught the edge of my fingernail once, but it didn't even leave a mark. So, that's it, you know. Um, it is what it is. They were... There's a lot of carrots here, but um, I should come out with the, uh, gosh, I'm hoping at least, I'm going to guesstimate 20, I'm going to guesstimate 20 quarts, maybe 24, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how good I can get them packed in there, so I will bring you back when I have some of them packed, and we'll, uh, we'll get to canning some carrots. All right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you where I'm at here. Um, this is my second batch. Well, I've got eight and one is nine. So I'm going to be able to get 16 in here. So here's my ah, boiling water. I just turned it off. It was boiling everywhere. So I'm going to fill these up. I'm doing this one-handed. I've never done one-handed before. Now I can see how you guys are like... <laughs> trying to make sure that... Um, you can see in the camera and then watching what you're doing. I can't watch through the camera though. So anyway, so I'm just filling these up. I do have a half teaspoon of salt in them and I'm filling them up to an inch and then I'm gonna then I am going to um, take my little plastic spatula get all the air bubbles out I hope you can see this because I'm watching what I'm doing here. <laughs> Trying to anyway. So, um, after doing these 16, I want you to see where my carrot bowl is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I remember when I said I was going to have 20, 24, whatever. Yeah, scratch that. I'm going to have more like uh, 30 some. Um, so anyway, it is what it is. That's good though, because uh, I was really bummed that we didn't have carrots last year. So anyway, I uh, got my ball canning book out, and it is actually, these are pints. So they're going to process at 10 pounds of pressure for 25 minutes. 
which is really nice because it's getting late and I'm getting tired. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I stay up half the night anyway, so it's just my, oh, my lids are starting to boil and turn those off. So, um, anyway, so I'm just going to go down and get the air bubbles out of all these carrots. It looks like I'm going to need more carrots and more liquid in this one, so can throw a few more in there. So that's what I do. I just run this around, get all the air bubbles out. If I need more liquid, I put more liquid in. I always use this one to kind of flatten and see where I'm really at. So this one I use to do this. So I will go ahead and make sure that these are in there right at an inch ish, you know. Um, I don't freak out if they're a little over. Um, it's just not ever been an issue for me, you know, especially with raw packing because they do actually cook down more. So I am going to do these. These all look pretty darn good. And once I get this all done, I'm going to uh, wipe the rims real good. And you can see when you wipe the rims on this, there's some orange. There's some orange, so, uh, you know, it's very important to wipe the rims. Um, and then I'm going to put those in the canner. Got a double stack of eight going in the pressure canner. I'm going to turn that puppy on and get that good steam going. I'm going to let it steam real hard for ten minutes. Then I'll put that pressure cock on there and take it up to ten pounds and hit it for twenty-five minutes. And, uh, you know, and then it takes another 25 minutes to cool off enough or more to take them out. So I'll be here till midnight or later because it's 10. So <laughs> anyway, not a big deal. I usually stay up half the night, like I said. So, all right. I will bring you back when I get another batch in the canner and maybe, I mean, you just saw me do the whole thing. So, um, I'll probably just go ahead and bring you back when I'm done and show you the end effect. So because it's going to be a process. But I'm super happy. These carrots were beautiful and they just, they're so sweet and yummy. So I'm really happy to have um, canned carrots. Um, my husband and I like to eat them cold on our salads. <laughs> we're weird that way. I know people are like, ew, cold carrots gross, but mm, whatever. I like it in my salad. So um, cold cooked carrots. <laughs> So, and I like my beets, my, you know, my uh, pickled beets in my salad. So, we, we do eat a lot of salad around here. So, um, plus these are just good to have around. So, you know, it's a nice little side dish for whatever. My husband puts them in everything. I find him, he'll put it in. Last night, I'm not even kidding y'all. He made, because um, I was really busy last night. He, um, he made some... What was it? It was like he took um, some potatoes and some carrots and fried it up in a pan like you would like um, like a hash brown type thing. You know, it was like a, oh, what do you call them? Like a potatoes um, O'Brien. And put some a can of <laughs> canned beef in it. And so we had like a potato hash. It was, it was actually pretty good. He was like... It's the only thing I could think of. He was tired. I was tired. I was getting ready to go to a class last night late. And um, so I had to go recertify on some stuff. And, and uh, you know, when you work in a hospital and, and you work night shift, sometimes they schedule things, which is really nice. Sometimes they schedule them later at night for those of us who, you know, going to something at 1 or 2 in the afternoon is like 1 or 2 in the morning to normal people. So... Once in a while, they're nice to, nice to us and and uh, do a night class. So anyway, I'm going to get these going. I'm sitting here yakking. I'm getting tired. So I'm going to get these going. And a couple of them need, whoops, hello, man down. Um, some more water in this one. The rest of them look pretty darn good. So I got all the air bubbles out of them and... They look pretty good. I'm going to put a smidge more water in this one and call it good. Wipe the rims. Maybe a smidge in that one. All right, you guys, I'll bring you back later. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back.
back. It's been quite a while because uh, even though they only process for 25 minutes, you know, it takes a while for the counter to get up to pressure and it has to steam vent for 10 minutes and then it has to do its thing and get up to pressure and then cook for 25 minutes and then it has to cool off. So um, it's a quarter after 12. <laughs> So this is my first batch of 16. I've got 16 more in the canner, and that'll be it. So 32. I'm going to end up with 32 pints of carrots, and I have about two pints that I didn't um, can because I wasn't about to run the canner for a third time with two in it. So those I can just, um, I'm just going to steam those for um, dinner tomorrow night. So they're absolutely beautiful. They're in there just bubbling away. Still hot, 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 hot. But they are sucking down and sealing and making their lovely little sounds and I'm super, super pleased so far. So we'll see. The second batch just went in the canner. So, um, you know, I'll be up till two this morning, which is normal for me. So I will come back when I'm completely done. And I, um, I forgot to show you, I have a whole bowl full of little baby carrots. Uh, a big, a, quite a big bowl, um, because some of the carrots, I mean, you know, because we didn't thin them, so a lot of them didn't have room to grow real big, so um, I'm going to bust the juicer out tomorrow, because <laughs> I love carrot juice, and so does my son, and uh, I'm going to run a whole bowl full of those little baby carrots through the juicer, so mm -mm -mm, it will be good, so I'll uh, probably do a little video on that, too, and stick it on the end of this, maybe, so I'll talk to you guys later.